This is a demo for Power BI to utilize the rollover of security set up in the underlying data source. In this case, we are using SQL database as the underlying data source, but you can also use something like Synapse Analytics, and the syntax is exactly the same. So typically, you will have a security profile table set up, in the underlying data source and that can be joined with a dimension table on the column that you want to do rollable security on. And you can do this on the individual user level or the security group level. We have both set up here on the color rollable security. We had set up the color as the column that we want to do role level security on and analyst will outline the individual users will be able to see certain colors and same with the country role level security group table where countries are the column that we want to do role level security on and the security group column is outlining which security group can see certain countries so the syntax to set up role level security in SQL DB looks something like this. First, I have to log in as the AAD admin of this SQL DB. I have to add the users from external provider to make sure that this particular user actually exists in the SQL DB. I'll give it the data reader role and I will create the security predicate saying that it's going to return one if the user login email address is the same as what I have in the analyst column. And then you can create the security policy and then you can grant selection on the security predicate to that individual user and the um, grant selection of that particular table to that individual user. If you have a lot of users, doing it on a user level might be really um, a lot of management. So what you potentially want to do is to utilize the security groups. And here is the syntax for security groups. So you set up the security groups to be able to see different um, countries in this case, and then add users to security groups in the back end without having to manage the SQL users. So here you add the security group from external provider as a user, do a similar thing to add the security group um, to the data reader role, and then create the um, function that's the security predicate. But in this case, we're saying return one if the user log in is actually part of this security group as a member. And the rest of this is the same. You create the security policy and then grant the security predicate and the select um, the actual security profile table to both the security groups. So once you have all this set up, you can go to Power BI. In Power BI's case, you don't have to set up any role level security um, if you just want to utilize the underlying role level security set up in the data source, but you can set up role level security as well if you want to do the uh, role level security logic in two different places. Um, in this case, I've created the tables, but I'm logged in as a user that doesn't have the selection right and the role level security clearance to see any of the content in those tables. But when I publish this to Power BI service and set up the direct query so that individual users will need to use their identity to read um, the data source using direct query 
and I, when I logged in as my test user, I should be able to see the table content that that test user is, uh, is able to see. So when this is published in Power BI, one thing you will need to do is go into Power BI and do setting in the data set and within the data source credentials, you want to select OAuth as the authentication method and it's important to tick this box which means that the report viewers will use their own identity to authenticate against the SQL and check the role level security rules when you're using direct query and this data set need to be in direct query mode for Power BI to utilize the role level security setting in the underlying data source. If it is in import mode, you would have to rely on the role level security of Power BI to achieve role level security. Another thing we need to do in this workspace is to add that particular user as a um, anything really to this workspace. So if you're utilizing role level security in Power BI, you will need to add certain user as a viewer but because we're utilizing the role level security in SQL it doesn't matter what role this user has it will still respect the rules of role level security in SQL so in this case we can add test user as a member to this workspace and we're going to go and log in as this particular test user. So here we have the logging as a test user and we can go to the report and you can see that as the test user I'm able to see black and white, uh, red as colors and because I'm a member of the uh, role level security SG I was able to see these two countries. So if I were to log in as a different user, I might be able to see a different set of colors and different set of countries. And this is how Power BI respects the role level security rules set up in the underlying data source without having to set up roles within Power BI itself.